In this video, we'll focus on the OR operation. An elementary understanding of binary will help you to get the most out of this video. It will also be useful if you've previously met logic gates. Here's a 16-bit CPU register with a binary value stored inside it. Typical computers these days use 32-bit or 64-bit CPU registers, but the principles of the bitwise OR operation can be illustrated perfectly well with a 16-bit register. 16-bit registers were more typical in the 1970s. This register contains an unsigned integer, in other words, it's a positive whole number. This integer has been encoded with 16 bits, namely 2 bytes. Normally integers require 32 bits, that's 4 bytes, but for the purposes of this discussion we'll stick with 16-bit integers. Looking at the place values, you can see that this is the number 170 in Denary. Here's another 16-bit unsigned integer. This is 141 in Denary. When the OR operator is applied, corresponding pairs of bits are compared. If one OR the other of a pair is a 1, the output is 1. If both bits of a pair are 1, this also produces an output of 1. Looking at the place values of the result, you can see that this is 175 in Denary. 170 or 141 is 175. Let's see this in visualbasic.net. It's the simplest of user interfaces, just a form with a single button, and here's the code for the button. Three variables are declared, x, y and z. 170 is assigned to x and 141 is assigned to y. To calculate z, we OR x and y together, and the result is output using a message box. Notice that the OR operator in vb.net is simply the word OR. One hundred and seventy-five. And here's the same thing in JavaScript. I've written a function called bitwise OR operator in the head section of my web page. Inside that function, I've declared three variables, x, y and z, and I've assigned 170 to x and 141 to y, just as I did in vb.net. z is being calculated by ORing x and y together. Notice that the OR operator in JavaScript is a vertical bar. The result is then output using an alert, and the program is triggered by clicking on a button on the web page. Run the program, same result. And here's the equivalent code in Python. Notice that Python also uses the vertical bar as the OR operator. Same result. The OR operator is particularly useful when it comes to manipulating bit flags with bit masks. Consider, for example, the central heating system in a house with eight rooms. This system was introduced in the previous video about the AND operator. A bit mask can be applied using the AND operator to check if specific heaters are on and to turn them off if necessary. This time, a bit mask is going to be used to turn the kitchen and the dining room heaters on, leaving the other rooms as they are. The bit mask is applied using the OR operator. Notice that the bit mask contains all zeros, except for ones at the kitchen and dining room positions. When the OR mask is applied, the resulting set of heaters that are on now include the kitchen and the dining room. And this result can be used to modify the original bit flags. In this example, we want to turn all of the heaters on at once. A bit mask containing a full set of ones can be applied with the OR operation to achieve this. The result is a full set of ones, which can be written directly into the bit flags register. You can probably imagine all kinds of control systems with multiple devices attached, and it's possible that every device needs to be checked or restarted on occasion. This is where the OR operation has a part to play. 